Welcome to my channel. Thank you guys so much for being here. I greatly appreciate all of you. So this is going to be your love reading for the week of April 5th through the 11th, I believe it is. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right, guys. So at the end of this spread, after I pull your energy with the different signs, I'm also going to answer a yes or no question for you guys. I'm trying to make it more interactive for you. So throughout the reading, think about what your question is so that when I get to the end of the reading, you'll have it ready and I can answer it. Um, it'll be the very last thing that I do. All right. Ooh, thank ya. Queen of Cups reverse for your overall energy. Recent past, Knight of Coins, Knight of Pentacles reversed. I will show these to you again as I'm reading them, okay? Present, Ace of Coins reversed. <clears throat> Let's turn this around, Taurus. Turn it around. Immediate future. Strength, nice. Turning it around, like I said. Everybody has been. So, like, this month, all the ones I've done for this month so far, they started off, you know, not great, but they all ended just fine. Potential obstacle for Taurus. Ace of Cups reversed. You've got two aces reversed here. Somebody might feel like they missed an opportunity. All right, let's start here, guys. So if you haven't watched me before this particular spread, my weeklies, um, the overall energy is always the person that I'm reading for would be the energy that you yourself are taking on during this week. Everything else here is interchangeable. It can be for you, the person you're dealing with, outside influences, all that stuff, okay? So you guys are in this Queen of Cups reversed energy. So you're feeling either, you know, emotionally withdrawn, could be sad, um, emotionally unavailable, just out of balance emotionally, um, could just be like pulling back as far as actual love and emotion here let's see why is this queen of cups reverse for taurus clarify the queen of cups reverse for taurus the five of wands because there's a lot of drama right now a lot of arguing probably some some competition some jealousy it's either, you know, some kind of arguments got you all emotionally out of whack or it's the emotional un unavailability that's causing the drama. Let's get one on this Five of Wands. Clarify the Five of Wands for Taurus. The world reversed. Unfinished business. Um... You might feel like you have unfinished business with someone and it's causing some drama or there's a cycle that's either way. There's a cycle that's trying to close out for you right now. You know, universe is trying to level you up and it's like you're fighting it for some reason. Let's see. And this closing out of a cycle isn't, it isn't bad. It doesn't mean that you have to be like ending a relationship or anything. It's just you're leveling up, you know. Clarify the world reverse for Taurus. The four of pentacles. You're really holding on to something, guys. You're holding on to something really tightly, something that's trying to close out. Could be a belief system, could be a person, could be just like your behaviors. Um, geez. It's, it's refusal to let go of something because it's like there's like a need for closure or you're just not ready to but it, it's necessary it is <laughs> all right let's move on guys okay recent past knight of coins knight of pentacles reverse all right so this is a halt something came to like a complete stop here in the recent past or somebody was just being real like non-committal real unstable um no kind of forward movement it's real stagnant energy and now in the present, you've got this Ace of Coins reversed, right? Your energy, again, as well as Virgo and Capricorn. But 
it's like somebody isn't willing to commit fully or they feel like they missed an opportunity for a commitment here. What is this Ace of Coins reversed for Taurus? The Hierophant, there you are, there's your energy. Um, so obviously the Hierophant is commitment. It's, it's conventional type of commitment. So it might be that you guys are just on different pages. Somebody really wants like the whole deal, the marriage, the everything, and somebody else is like real hesitant here. Get another one, y'all. The Four of Wands. My 1111 card, Soulmate Energy, a marriage card, along with the Hierophant. So this is like heavy, heavy marriage energy, heavy like at least living together type of energy. It's, this is also Aries. But there's something here, either there's like delays there's like some kind of delays to getting to this even though that's somebody's intention that's like um it's just delays getting there it's an obstacle or somebody feels like they missed an opportunity for this with you or you with them let's get another one there the two of pentacles Somebody's trying to decide whether they want this whole last commitment or not. That's why the hesitation. This is juggling. It's trying to keep everything in balance. Um, might be finances that are affecting the stability of the connection. Or, you know, with the Ace of Pentacles reversed, it could be that maybe you guys are trying to move in together. Um, and you just have to, like, juggle finances around and move things around in order to make that work. In the future, though, you've got strength. This is Leo energy. Beautiful. Let's see what this is all about. Clarify strength in the future for Taurus. The moon. Pisces. Ah, okay, so it's like somebody here, whether it's you or the other person, somebody is needing to be strong when they don't know exactly what's going to happen, when they don't know exactly how this is going to play out, right? With the moon, like, all isn't revealed yet. There are things that you guys don't know, but it's just being strong through that and, like, having that confidence that even though I don't know how this is going to play out, I know that it's going to, um, or if it doesn't, I'm going to be just fine. What is this moon energy in the future? The four of coins you've got that now twice here so there's a lot of somebody really holding on to something tightly let's get another one here um and again with this like if you guys are having financial issues that are kind of in the way of, of moving in together with having the four of pentacles here twice it's it could also just be like holding on to your finances until you know what's going to happen all right in the future then we got the two of uh wands and you've got the two of pentacles here too. So a lot of decisions here, a lot of um, pick your path energy. Let's get another one on that two of wands. What is this two of wands for Taurus? The ace of wands reversed. Guys, you've now got three aces here and they're all reversed. So for whatever reason, you're feeling really stuck, really blocked, like, there's delays, there's obstacles, there's things that are just not happening fast enough for you or them, right? With the Ace of Wands reversed, it's like a, a lack of motivation, a lack of drive. And with strength here, it could just be that somebody really just needs to be patient here while the other person kind of like decides what they want to do. All right, now in your potential obstacle, here's that other Ace. Upside down, Ace of Cups reversed, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, emotional issues. So you've got the Queen of Cups reversed up here, Ace of Cups reversed down here. Somebody here is having some kind of an emotional issue. Inability to express emotion, you know, unavailability, drama. With that is the Queen of Cups upright. So 
since you're coming in as the Queen of Cups reverse, this might be you. This might be like you might be your own obstacle. Not You're not the Queen of Cups really, right? You're Earth. However, you did come up as her in this reading. And for her to come up as your obstacle with the Ace of Cups reverse, when she's already reversed up here, it could be that you are your own obstacle because you're not really expressing your emotions. You're not saying how you feel. You're holding back. Um, <coughs> or just not really like... Um, maybe not even like considering your own emotion. Maybe you're just kind of like too focused on like whatever this arguing is, whatever this unfinished business is. It, it's like you're kind of like neglecting your own feelings or something. All right, let's get you some advice, guys. That's not you. This could also be like a baby's mom, um, baby's mom, ex-wife energy that's kind of kind of an obstacle here <clears throat> all right advice advice for Taurus the hermit guys go within Virgo energy it's time for you to take a break and go within figure out what the hell you want to do here if you feel like you're being blocked somewhere like there's obstacles then go within and find out why that is meditate you know reflect all that <laughs> clarify the hermit clarify the hermit for Taurus the full reverse right okay you don't want to jump into anything here that's Aries energy by the way you don't want to jump into anything without fully processing it with this hermit energy it's time for you to take a step back and go within and process what the hell is going on here and what you want to do about it before you jump into anything because that's kind of reckless energy it's not time to take any risks it, it's time to fully process whatever's happening okay i don't know where my music went sorry about it let's get your energy with the different signs taurus dealing with other earth signs how are you guys doing taurus dealing with other earth signs how are you uh, not good. Five of Swords. Conflict. That might be who this reading is all about. Anyway, Taurus dealing with other Earth signs. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. You guys are having some issues, arguing, petty conflict, back and forth, trash talking, whatever. Taurus dealing with water signs. How are you? The Magician. You guys might be like a bit of a power couple, manifesting, making shit happen in your life. Might be some some kind of a spiritual connection. Taurus dealing with fire signs. Taurus dealing with fire signs. How are you? The Ten of Wands reverse. Dropping anything that is too heavy in that connection. Um, I don't know that it's dropping the whole connection. It's just, it's practicing healthy boundaries. If there's a lot of responsibilities that are taking up your time or theirs, it's like dropping some of those so that you can have some more like time together. You know what I mean? Taurus dealing with air signs. Nine of wands reverse. That's somebody's giving up on that connection, whether it's you or them. All right. Are you ready for your yes or no, guys? Think about your question. Take a deep breath. Okay, Taurus, here we go. Yes or no for my Taurian friends. Yes or no. What do we have? Yes or no. It's a yes. Page of coins. Upright. Page of pentacles. Upright. That's a yes. I hope you wanted it to be. Thank you so much, guys, for spending your time with me. I will talk to you in another day or two with your next weekly. And I'm also going to throw some X readings in there this month. Um... A subscriber had requested that so watch out for those if you're someone that is concerned about your ex okay all right i love you guys